Good morning and welcome to our weekly style snack. Every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, I join you here to share a style snack. And right now we are in the middle of our Summer Capsule Wardrobe Essentials series. We've already covered, let me see, I didn't write this down, uh, bags, shoes, tops, three, right? And today we're talking about a go-to dress. But first, I want to welcome everyone who is new to my community. We're thrilled to have you here, and um, I hope you'll feel uh, welcome and ready to dive in and share with us. This is a safe space, and um, you're among friends. And right now, we are also in the middle of a Shop Your Closet challenge. Um, Maddie wants to know if we're on StreamYard today. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> So if you see up at the top in the description, there's a link. And if you click on that, then I can see your name when you comment. Otherwise, it'll just say Facebook user. And I really would love to see who's talking to me and who I'm talking to. So click that link. Otherwise, I'll just it'll say, yeah, Facebook user. But we are in the middle of a Shop Your Closet challenge right now. Every day for 12 days, I'm giving you an inspiration outfit. And then you shop your closet for something similar um, you use it as inspiration. Basically, you can copy it exactly if you want to, but mostly it's just to inspire you to dig into your closet to find something similar, mix it up, um, change it up so that it looks like you. And uh, this is going on through Wednesday, so it's not too late to join. And you join the challenge by joining my Facebook group. It's called um, Capsule Wardrobes for Classic Style. And I will share the link to that here. And that's where you'll find the outfits. If you click on the announcements tab, you'll see the outfits we've done so far, as well as a calendar that shows all the outfits that are, um, oh, there's hair hanging right in front of my eyeballs. Sorry, that's annoying, um, that are coming up in the challenge. So they post every day at 4 p.m. Eastern time so that you can, uh, prepare for the day before because first thing in the morning is never the time to make a, cho a choice like that. Am I right? <laughs> it's just a little too crazy. Um, <clears throat> and uh, then you share your version of the outfit. You share your selfie in the group and we just get inspired by one another. I love seeing all of your, your outfits and the things that you're doing and um, I love your creativity. <clears throat> and along with that, I just want to share a reminder that <clears throat> sorry, that um, the only comments on outfits that are allowed are just supportive comments. The only time we offer constructive suggestions is if they are asked for. And if they're not asked for, then keep them to yourself, please. That's not the kind of group this is. It takes a lot of courage to share a selfie and to put yourself out there that way. And if they want suggestions, they will ask. And if they don't ask, then don't, don't offer any. Um, we are, we are sharing and um, we want everyone to feel safe in, in doing that. That's a hard thing to do. And sometimes that's uh, summoning that courage is, is all that, that they've got. So if they don't ask, don't, don't offer any suggestions. Um, as I'm talking to you about a summer go-to dress, go ahead and leave any questions or comments and um, I'll answer them at the end. So let's get started. Summer wardrobes. <laughs> Summers are full of barbecues and fireworks and watermelon and grass and beaches and lakes and flowers and pools and just fun, right? But it's also hot, humid, sweaty, sticky, and stuffy. And if you're anything like me, you crave summer weather and summer fun, but you struggle with the, the most with your summer capsule wardrobe because without the layers and the outerwear and the boots and everything that offer variety and interest in the fall, winter, and spring, how do you create interesting outfits? Do you go crazy with color and pattern? Do you suffer through borderline heat stroke and wear the layers anyway? We all want to look as great as we can, 
and wear as little as possible so we don't melt in the summer. So how do you, and especially, especially if you wear classic style like I do, like that, that can be even harder to style in the summer. And so how do you wear your classic style when all the clothes are so small, there's not a lot of variety. I mean, you're basically down to t-shirts, shorts, and sandals, right? Wrong. That's where the summer dress comes in. Dresses are not just for dressing up. They are a favorite summer essential for my personal wardrobe. And I have several. If you want fuss-free style, dresses are easy, breezy, instantly chic, supremely comfortable, convenient, one and done outfits. That was a really long description, but they are. When you put on a dress, you are basically dressed. <laughs> Just add shoes and go. No mixing and matching required. It's the ultimate easy button and you automatically look dressed up and put together and chic just because you put on this one item wonder. And as far as surviving in the heat, you get supreme ultimate air circulation from the waist down when you're wearing a dress. And depending on the dress you choose, the upper half can also be extremely breezy. Besides maximizing coolness, if you choose the right dress, you're basically wearing a nightgown or a long t-shirt. I mean, does it get any more comfortable than something you can sleep in? No. So with one go-to dress in your summer capsule wardrobe, you can change up how you style it. You can dress it up or dress it down, depending on what the occasion calls for. They come in every style, every length, every material, and there is one out there that is perfect for you. So if I've convinced you that dresses are a great idea for the summer, here are some things to help you choose a go-to dress. And if you are going to pick just one go-to dress for your summer capsule wardrobe, because that might be all you need. And like I said, we are, we're, we're pretending every single time, like we're picking just one so we can hone in on those preferences. I have some tips to help you find the right one for you. So first, what are we going to do? We're going to pick the color. <laughs> And if you're only going to pick one summer dress, your options are, go, are to go for a neutral or make a statement. So a neutral can be anything from a solid neutral color or a pattern in neutral colors. And we've talked about how to pick your, your preferred summer neutrals in the other capsule wardrobe essentials series, the, the shoes, the bags, and the tops. So I'm not going to go into that here. You can watch those. Um, or you can go with your favorite neutral colored pattern. So I have two to show you. This one is black because, because I love black. <laughs> and I wear this dress all the time in the summer. It's solid. It's neutral. It goes with every pair of shoes I own. It goes with absolutely everything. There's nothing I could put on that this dress doesn't go with. Another example would be this navy and white striped dress. This for me is a summer neutral. I mean, stripes are my favorite color. I wear stripes all year round, but they're especially in the summer, um, they're just, they're nautical, right? And, and nautical is anything out on the water. And we're always trying to get to the water when it's hot outside boating, you know, just hanging out by the water, going to the pool, cooling off. And so for me, a navy and white stripe is a summer essential. And I love having it as a dress. You can also make a statement and it can be a statement with one solid color or you can make a statement with a colorful pattern. And as I said before, choosing your signature color or your favorite color outside of the neutrals is an obvious easy win that you will always look and feel amazing in. It's also likely to go with a lot of things in your closet because if it's your favorite, you're buying it year round and you've been buying things that go with it. So it's an easy win. You don't have to pick that, but it's, it's just, it's an easy win. So I have one, this is a colorful pattern. 
this might be the most colorful patternist item I own. And I do love it. I mean, when I saw it, I stopped. I swooned. I tried it on. I bought it. This is not, this for me would not be my go-to summer dress because there's a lot happening here. Um, but this dress, I just, I do, I love it. It's got a lot of colors, mostly the red, the pink, and the black. Um, and there's a little bit of blue in there, but this is a statement. Um, and I do wear this in the summer. It's a maxi dress. And so I wear this, like I wear this to summer weddings because um, it's a little bit of a dressier dress. But if that's the kind of thing that you need a dress for, if that's the kind of thing you need a dress for, then pick a dress like that. Um, if that were shorter, if that were knee length, I would wear it more often and then I would wear it casually, but because of the length, it feels dressier to me. Um, so now that you've got some things to consider for your colors, um, choose a style. And I've narrowed this down to four basic dress styles. Um, you could, I mean, there are more, you could definitely branch out, but these are the ones we're focusing on for this. Um, the first one is very popular in the summer and it's a shift style dress. I think one of the reasons we love shift style dresses in the summer is because they basically only make contact with your shoulders and your bust and then they float away from the rest of your body and don't touch you. <laughs> and if you're looking for maximum breeziness, that's the style to choose. But they can be tricky to wear depending on your body type. The shorter they are, the more flattering they tend to be. And if they're too long, you can look, end up looking like you're wearing a pillowcase. Because I don't wear short dresses that are any shorter than just above my knee, that's too long for a shift dress to look flattering. So I stay away from them. I need something that shows the definition of my waist at the very least. And so I personally don't wear shift style dresses. I always, it's one of those things that I admire on other women. And then I try it and I just feel frumpy because I don't wear dresses short enough to make that flattering. I do have a shift dress that I purchased that I'm going to tailor. And it's this one. It basically, it's ever so slightly um, A-line and it just comes away from my body here. Um, and I'm going to, this is a t-shirt material. It doesn't have uh, a zipper or anything, but because it's stretching t-shirt material, I can take it here in here just a little um, to give it a little bit more shape and still pull it on over my head. So that's what I'm doing with that. Um, the next style of dress that is perfect for summer would be a shirt dress. Christian Dior launched the shirt dress as part of the post-World War II New Look Couture, and it featured a fitted bodice and a flared skirt with crinoline holding it up, uh, kind of like an upside down cupcake wrapper. And it's another menswear inspired wardrobe item that has several variations today, but they're all supremely classic. Today, they can be a loose shift style cut that's belted or unbelted, fit and flare like the traditional version. They can be longer, shorter, every sleeve length, but they are always defined by a button front and collar like a traditional man's dress shirt. And if you're uh, participating in the Shocker Closet Challenge, you saw that today's uh, challenge outfit, inspiration outfit is a red shirt dress and I'm actually wearing it today. Um, I'll stand up for just a second so you can see. Um, I'm not gonna back all the way up. As you can see, my, my office is littered with boxes um, shopping for the summer wardrobe guide is coming out very soon. And every time I order all the things and it looks like the internet uh, threw up in my office. So I don't have very much floor space. I really can't back up a lot. Um, but this, I'll take my outfit pictures soon and I'll post it and you'll be able to see it then. But um, this is a classic. I have four. I have this red one, and this was included in the 2019 
summer classic wardrobe guide. I have a navy one, I have a denim one, I have a turquoise one, and I have a black one. So basically I have three of my neutrals, uh, my signature color, which, which honestly feels like a neutral to me, um, which is the turquoise, and then my next favorite color, which is red. So, um, and they're all solid colors. And I have another one here to show you. This one's navy blue. And uh, I love this. I've worn it several times. I wore it um, last Sunday or the Sunday before. Uh, it, it's just so easy to put on, so easy to wear. And uh, it just instantly looks chic and it's so comfortable. That one is stretchy. This one is more of a crepe uh, and, and it's, it has a little bit of stretch, but it's not stretchy like that one. The next type of dress is I'm just going to lump in anything with a defined waist. So dresses with a defined waist can come in a variety of shapes, but three basic summer options are um, belted, the fit and flare, or an elastic waist. So my shirt dress that I'm wearing now and this shirt dress. Um, this one is more of the shift style. It's straight. Let me see if I can back up just a little. It falls straight and then it's belted here. So if I didn't have this belt on, it would just kind of be that pillowcase sack look. Um, this one is another belted, but this one's a little bit of, um, more of a fit and flare version. It does, it's fitted because of the belt, but then it does have a slight A-line cut to it. So it does come away a little bit from the body. Um, the next one is anything that has an elastic waist. So, This one right here, it does have this little tie, but this is, it's kind of a fake tie, you know what I mean? It's got elastic right here that cinches in the waist and gives me more of that definition. And this navy dress, the striped navy dress that I showed you also has that. Scott, you can see this one a little more clearly. This elastic here, and then it's just got these fake ties right here to pretend like I tied it or something, I don't know but it does give me the definition in my waist and allowing some more of the breeziness up top and below, but still giving me some shape. And then there is the classic fit and flare and it comes in at the waist and then it slightly a lines out with, um, it can have a defined waistband or not. This is the closest I have. There, there's a there's a range when it comes to fit and flare skirts. There's the slight A-line, and then there's the like Scarlet O'Hara ball gown. And I am on the very minimal end of the A-line. So this one right here is that slight A-line. So this does not have any kind of defined actual waistline. Like there's no waist band here that de denotes the waist but you can see that the cut of it is um, closer here through the, through the body and the waist, and then it flares slightly away from the hips to, oh, I'm not tall enough, or my arms aren't long enough, to the bottom. And so all three of these give my, um, my waist some definition and, and, keeps me from looking frumpy in something that just hangs too straight. And then the final dress style is the wrap dress. Diane von Furstenberg brought us the wrap dress in the 70s and it's been a wardrobe staple ever since. It is supremely flattering to every body type. The V neckline elongates the chest and the neck, making you look taller and slimmer. The crossover of the fabric. It flatters the tummy. It defines the waist. If you have a straighter body, it can give you the illusion of a waist. And if you have a curvier body type, it highlights your best feature. 
and then it can either fall straight down from the hips or flare slightly um, regardless. It's, it's just, it's flattering to everyone. And this is a style that I really love. You can get them in tops or dresses, but there is a catch. Faux wrap dresses are so much easier to wear than the real deal. Faux wrap dresses are made of a jersey knit and they can be pulled on over the head because they're stretchy or they'll have, if they're a dressier version, they'll have a, a hidden zipper in the side. Real wrap dresses have this nasty habit of coming unwrapped, as I found out last summer when I bought this one. I swooned when I saw this dress. I love gingham. I love dresses. I love wrap dresses. But up to this point, I had only ever bought faux wrap. And I just, I, I was in love. And then I realized that when you sit down in a real wrap dress, the skirt slits wide open. <laughs> and so every time I sat down, I was trying to origami fold my skirt somehow to make it stay shut while I was sitting. And I just cannot fuss with my clothes that way. And I've got six kids. My youngest is six and she still climbs in my lap. And that's just, that's just a wardrobe malfunction waiting to happen. Um, I tried safety pinning it and I'm afraid it'll rip. Like the, the pressure of it trying to come apart on that one little safety pin holding it might rip the dress. Um, if any of you have a suggestion of how I can make this wrap dress not unwrap, I'm all ears because I love this dress. I really want to wear it. But um, yeah, so so my suggestion is to go for the faux wrap. It's a great style dress. Just get the, the good one, the one that is easy. So those are four styles of dresses that you can look for. And you now have an idea of what colors and or patterns to look for you can take these dresses and dress them up or down. If you have a pool party or a summer wedding or a barbecue, one dress can take you to every occasion if you pick the right one. And I've included two dresses in the Summer Classic uh, wardrobe guide, and I've styled each one several ways so that no matter where you've gotta go, you've got something to wear. Dresses are so versatile. They're like a blank slate and you can easily change it up with just a few tweaks. On Monday, I shared four ways to dress up and dress down an outfit from the spring classic wardrobe guide um, with the Stunning Style Society. And that's the membership that is part of the classic wardrobe guides. When you, when you purchase the guides, you're, you become part of this membership. And this summer, I'll be doing another outfit from the upcoming guide to inspire them with ideas of how they can make their wardrobes as versatile as possible, dressing it up or dressing it down as their days and lifestyles require. The summer guide is coming soon, as evidenced by the gigantic mess in my office. And you can be the first to know when it launches by joining the waiting list at stunningstylesociety.com forward slash society. And um, it's, it's a good one, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> if you struggle with your summer wardrobe and how to put together great outfits and you feel um, just the in the summer, I have got you covered. The wardrobe is curated. I finished the outfits yesterday and now I am putting together the guide and the calendars and everything that goes with it. So if summer style is a struggle for you, the guide has got you covered. You don't have to figure it out on your own. If you do want to figure it out on your own, I hope this series has been helpful for you and that it's given you some ideas of how you can put together your own summer capsule wardrobe or just your wardrobe in general. But when you get really specific and think of it in terms of a capsule wardrobe, um, it really helps you uh, be more selective and home in on what you really, really want. 
So I want to thank you for joining me for this style snack today. I always love sharing these things with you and I hope you got a lot out of it. I'm going to take a look at the questions in the comments and um, see if I can answer anything for you. Okay, so uh, I see a couple of you said you couldn't get in. So this is the 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 thing you're seeing in the uh, in the groups and on my page is, was an announcement that it was coming at eleven o'clock, and um, that's why you couldn't get in because it hadn't started yet. Um, Maddie says hello. Gail says hello. Andrea, Barbara says they say hello and good afternoon. Well, hello. Um, Patricia says dresses are lacking in my wardrobe. You know, you're not alone. Um, there are a lot of a lot of women dismiss dresses as being something that's just for dressing up. And oh, I think once you try them, you're gonna love them. They're just so easy. I hope I've convinced you to try at least one because I could wear I could wear dresses all summer. I wear them year round, but especially in the summer. Um, Marcy says hello. Nancy says hi from Florida. Gail says hi. Kathy's with us from Texas. Um, a Facebook user says hi, April. I love your style snack on Wednesdays. I am also enjoying your current style challenge. Well, thank you. I'm so glad. I wish I could see what your name is. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying the challenge. And I'm glad that you're uh, that you love the style snacks. So thanks. Catherine says. Greetings from Washington State. Pat's here. She says, hey, Patty, I can see your name now. You did it correctly. She was asking. So yes. Uh, Maddie says, hashtag team dress. That's right. Katie loves summer dresses. Deborah does. Catherine says, I just need to convince my husband that you look that you should wear dresses. Oh, my husband, that's my favorite. My husband's favorite is when I wear dresses and skirts. Like, yeah, that's his absolute favorite. So I have no trouble convincing that man. Um, Linda says, hi, you look stunning. Well, thank you, Linda, I appreciate that. Rachel says, I'm hoping you can touch on types of fabrications, blends to look for or avoid in summer. Examples that are commonly found in classic style versus examples for classic style twists would be amazing, thanks. So that is, um, a, that is a topic all on its own. And that's the kind of content that I do in the Stunning Style Society. When you uh, when you when you purchase the guides, you become a member of the Stunning Style Society. And so, really specific content like that is the kind of content that they get during their style secrets on Monday, just like the one that I just did about dressing outfits up and down four different ways. So, um, yeah, that would be its own topic entirely. Meredith says, hello. Patricia says, where did you find the striped dress? This is the problem for me. I can't find them. I have had that striped dress for four, four years at least. I got it at Banana. Um, yeah, and finding dresses is hard, but there are two of them in the upcoming guide. So if you have trouble, I've got you covered. Meredith says, anyone checking out the boxes in the background? She's excited. I knew you would be. <laughs> I knew you would be. I didn't have time. Like, I was like, I should, I should make this pretty. I should stack these up like nicely, like a display. I don't have time. Like, this is this week is go time. It is crunch time. Um, I eat at my desk. I come back to work after dinner. Like, yeah, our kids. Are kind of orphaned because my if you don't know my husband is my business partner we do this together he does all the tech and things and i do all the creative stuff so i didn't have i wanted to make it like a pretty display for you i just can't um but i wanted to and i hope that counts for something patty says i love dresses in the summer too edie says good afternoon just joined the live love that color top on you well thank you edie after black white and blue red's my next my next favorite color Maddie says, tailoring is worth the investment for good fit. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Um, Gail says, who makes them? Um, well, every one of these dresses came from, from somewhere different. Like, I hunt all over the place to find dresses. They're, they're uh, yeah, they can be tricky to, to hunt down the right one. 
Um, you just bumped up on me, sorry. It does that. Okay. Um, Jean says, hello. Terry says, hi, hello. Maddie says, you can sew a wrap dress closed or add snaps. So this one's cotton. It doesn't stretch. So I can only sew it closed to a point. And the snaps, I think I might, I would have to snap it all the way down. Like, I don't know, maybe. I, I just worry that it would be pulling, you know? Um, Connie says, hi, great to see you. Love that red on you. Well, thank you. Good to see you too, Connie. Suzanne says, I have several fit and flare floral dresses that are midi length. I have a solid aqua midi dress. And those are probably fantastic on you, Suzanne. I can just imagine. Emily says, could a tailor add a hidden seam and zipper? A zipper. I love zippers. That's an idea. That'd be a long zipper. I have to ask. That's a good idea. Thanks, Emily. Um, Stacy says, I can't wait for Monday. I feel like a kid at Christmas. I, you know what? The, the, the wardrobe guides are so much work, but when the members get them, because the members get it first, and then those on the wait list get the first chance to join, and then everyone else finds out about it. And um, just, it is just, it really is like Christmas morning. It's like being a parent on Christmas morning and all the hard work was worth it when you see the thrill and the joy and they are so excited and there's paper flying and I love it. Yeah, so I'm excited too. Terry can't wait. A Facebook user says, any suggestions where someone could find a shirt dress with a flat collar as opposed to stand up? Love collars, just not on me. So you either mean a Mandarin collar, which would be like this part and minus this part. So kind of like that, um, or one that comes to here, that would be more like a Henley. And um, I haven't taken any particular notice of anything like that. I just, you'd have to, you just, it's just looking around, but those are the two names, either a Mandarin collar or a Henley, a Henley style. Um, Gail says the dresses you have in different colors, what brands are they? Oh, they're all different. I mean, they're all different brands. They're, I mean, I got some at Nordstrom. I got that one, at, that two of them from Banana. Um, but I've had all of them for ages. So uh, I, yeah, they're, you can't buy them in the stores right now. Kathy says, summer dresses are my favorite. Me too. A Facebook user says, that was fun, April. Thanks. Um, another Facebook user says, what is the perfect dress length? Well, that's a really personal choice. Um, like, like I said, uh, if you're wearing a shift dress, then more of the mid thigh is what is flattering. And a lot of women like that length because it's just, uh, it's just cool, right? There's, there's less of you is covered up. Um, I don't wear anything that short. I don't like to tug at my clothes when I'm sitting or squatting or, or anything. Um, and, uh, as far as most, so it depends on your body type. It depends on your lifestyle. It depends on your personal preferences. I typically wear mine just above the knee. That's my favorite length to wear dresses or just below the knee. That's where I wear mine. Avoid the mid calf. Like anything that cuts off the widest part of your leg is going to be the least flattering, but it could be the most comfortable. It depends on what you're after. If you're seeking most comfort, that will change it. If you're looking for most flattering, then um, just above the knee is probably the most flattering. And then um, even to a little shorter than that, if you're comfortable with that, or just below the knee, or all the way to your ankle. Hitting the slenderest parts of your leg will be the most flattering. Um, Gail's here from Ontario. Suzanne's happy to be here. She had a great physical therapy session. That's wonderful, Suzanne. Um, 
Uh, Island Girl says, I've had other stylists say that wrap dresses are not flattering on women with small chests. It brings attention to a bony chest. Thoughts? Um, I gonna have to say, first, I don't think there's anything wrong with having a small chest. <laughs> so I, I have a, I have a bony rib cage. I had a roommate once just come up and like poke me right here. And she's like, I can actually see your ribs poking out right here. And I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I'm bony right here. I just am. And I don't care. <laughs> like, doesn't bother me. If it bothers somebody else, that's too bad for them. So I don't, I don't see anything wrong with a small chest or a bony chest or anything. So I say, if you, if you love it, wear it, don't let what someone else, what bothers someone else bother you, I guess is what I'm saying. Um, Peggy says, I made wrap dresses in the 60s because we had to dress up for high school. They were so classic, I could wear them now. Oh, Peggy, I, I believe it, absolutely. Renee says, how do we change it so that we can see, you can see our name? Well, Renee, whatever you did, I can see your name up in the description of this broadcast is a little link that you can click on. And maybe if you do it one week, you don't have to do it hereafter. Maybe it's a one-time thing. I don't know. I've never had, I've never watch somebody else's stream yard. So I've never done it. Uh, Mirka says, hello from Sweden, April. I love that red dress of yours. You look stunning. I also want to say that I'm enjoying the Shocker Closet Challenge a lot. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm so glad that you're enjoying the challenge. I've enjoyed your outfits. Um, let's see. Catherine wants to know, how is my ankle? Well, thank you for asking. I sprained my ankle three months ago and um, it's finally getting better. I've graduated from crutches to a boot to a brace. And now I only have to wear the brace if I'm being really active. So when we're working in the yard on the weekends and when my, my husband and I go on a walk every evening, now that the weather's warmed up some. And so I wear my brace then, but other than that, it still swells sometimes uh, inexplicably and I'm icing it still, but it's a lot better. They said six months total, probably before it feels all the way better, but it is a lot better. Thank you for asking. Um, Patricia says you could have the errant dress, I like that, the errant dress, it's misbehaving, cut down into a peplum blouse. I could, that's, that's also a possibility. I will take it under consideration, thank you. Um, Janet says I came in late, will it be repeated? It'll be available here um, on, on my Facebook page. You can watch it. And then I will be publishing it on my website, stunningstyle.com as well. Um, Connie says, I have a bony chest too. Funny how people comment on that. Yeah, it never, like I had never once even thought about it until my college roommate poked me and I was like, guess I do. I never noticed or cared. So yeah, still doesn't. Yeah. It just is what it is. I don't think it's good or bad. It just is my body. Um, Maddie says I only had to do it once. Okay. So once you click on that button one time, I'll be able to see your name ever after. So that's good. Liza says, I love dresses during summer. I live in them and they fit my plus size body so well. That's great. They're, I mean, dresses, you can find a dress for every body type. And um, that's why I love them. It can be a, a trick to hunt them down, you know, but they're so good. I love dresses. And so if you decide to try a dress for the summer, I would love to see, I would love to see, share the pictures in the group. Uh, another Facebook user says, I'm so ready for the summer guide. <clears throat> I'm so ready for the summer guide too. I'm ready for it to be done. This is, this is a busy two, like this three week period is, is busy for us. And so I'm always glad when it's over. Um, Vivian says, signing on late. What a great red. Well, thank you. This, we're almost done here and then you'll be able to rewatch it as soon as we're finished. Jenna says, just coming on, I've never worn dresses other than for very dressy occasions. I have a messy casual lifestyle. Do you have any recommendations for a style of dress to start with? Yes, and that is, uh, well, we just covered the different 
um, styles and types of dresses. And all the ones that I covered are basically casual dresses. Um, I mean, they could, the, the shirt dress and the fit and flare dress, there, there are probably dressy versions of a lot of these dresses, but um, I did this with uh, more of your casual summer in mind because dresses for dressy lifestyles are, are not hard. They're just easier to find and, and people think about them more. The casual dresses, I think, are uh, what get forgotten and ignored and um, and I think need more help. But that, so that's what this whole thing was focused on. Carolyn's here. Hello. And Jenna says, I'll be sure to watch. Well, great. So please share with me what you, uh, what you got out of this. And if you're going to try a summer dress and then be sure and join us in the capsule wardrobes for classic style Facebook group. I shared the link above and then do not miss out on the summer guide. And you can get on the waiting list by, um, going to stunningstylesociety.com forward slash society to join the waiting list and um, be the first to know when the guide is launched. It's, it's a really big deal. People get very excited about it around here. And I would love to have you join us in the society. So thank you so much for joining me for this style snack. I always enjoy this midweek break with you and I hope you enjoyed it as well. I will be back next Wednesday to finish up this series talking about bottoms. So be sure to join me next Wednesday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time, 1 p.m. Eastern Time. And in the meantime, enjoy the Shocker Closet Challenge. I can't wait to see the rest of your outfits. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week.